Hello and welcome back to another one of my speed builds. If you're new here then thank you so much for joining us and if not then welcome back. So we have finally decided to move away from San Sequoia. I have done I think four builds there and I've loved it. I've honestly really enjoyed the new pack and I've loved the new world um, which I've spoken about in most of my videos I think just about my thoughts on them so if you want to check those out then feel free. Um, but yeah, we are actually building in Copperdale today and I'm building on this lot. It's called Inner Circle. It's, I think, a 20 by 20 lot, so it's quite small and I knew that I wanted to do a family home um, and I wasn't actually too sure if like this would be too small, but I made it work. Um, there's a back garden. It's a very narrow back garden, but it does work. Now, I did say in my last video that I wasn't going to do another family home. <laughs> I should have been more specific. Um, when I said that, I meant like, I'm not going to be in San Sequoia. I'm not going to be doing like what I've been doing recently. I'm going to try and venture out and do something a little bit different. And yeah, I, yeah, I just didn't say that at all. So I'm sorry about that but yeah you can see that right now I actually was going for like this kind of green wood which honestly is really really nice. I believe it's from Spade um, but I do end up changing it for the new wallpaper that we got with Growing Together just because I love it. I I think it's so nice um, and I don't think I've used it. Actually I may have. I think I used it for my Craftsman style build. Um, but yeah, anyway, the style of this house is a little bit different um, than what I would normally do. Um, uh, it's, I don't even know, here's the thing, I don't really know the name of like types of houses, I'm really bad with it. I did say this when I made my Craftsman style house, that I had to look up lots of reference photos to kind of work out how to do that. Um, but for this build, I have no idea like what the... Uh, aesthetic or vibe of it is or the style or anything um I just I kind of knew what I wanted to go for like I had this shape in my mind um and once I changed that that like wood to the the kind of more it's more of like an orangey wood and I also changed the door to more of an orangey wood and I just think it ties in together so nicely this is me doing it right now I absolutely love how it looks um you can let me know what you think um also I should mention this build is on the gallery. My gallery ID is just iHansa. Um, super easy to remember, just the same as my YouTube. Um, and I did playtest this. I did playtest this full thing. Um, <laughs> I actually, it was a struggle because, so normally when I make family homes, I will, because I'm, I'm very sort of, what is it called? I'm very like, I don't even know the word, but I always take into consideration the fact that I know that it's really important for gameplay to, to work. Um, so normally when I do these builds, I would make sure that like the toddlers and the infant rooms are on the bottom floor. But for this build, I actually have all the bedrooms on the top floor. Now I did play test it and everything works fine. Like I didn't have any issues. Um, it was fine. Like the only difference is obviously you would need to carry the infant upstairs and things like that. Um, but there is a bathroom upstairs. There's also um, like obviously changing tables up there and there are changing tables downstairs so if your toddlers or infants are downstairs then yeah but I had a little bit of trouble when I was playtesting just because I um I had so many kids like there's a this is a very kid oriented house there's two children and then there's a toddler and then there's an infant and then there would be two parents so yeah I feel like I kind of set myself up there like with the gameplay aspect because then I had to have all of these kids and yeah but no everything works perfectly fine um hopefully you don't mind that the bedrooms are upstairs but yeah we're doing the back garden right now and as you can see it's not very big it's quite a narrow back garden like as I said um but I thought it was really sweet and I was really glad that I could even have a back garden because when I was looking at it, I kind of thought that wouldn't be possible at all, um, but it, it was and I really, really like it. So hopefully you you do too. Um, now, I feel like this is a good moment. And just to say that um, if you are not subscribed, then please feel free. It is 
completely free and you can change your mind if you ever change your mind <laughs> um but yeah just if you are enjoying the video and you want to subscribe then please feel free and also i do have a twitter my twitter is i underscore hansa and i post stuff on there um i try and like retweet things and just do updates <laughs> sometimes i'm really forgetful sometimes i'm really on my game um but yeah i also have an instagram and my instagram is i hansa yt like i hansa youtube um and I post on there quite a lot I put on there all of like the builds that I do and yeah so if you want to follow any of those feel free I do have links in my description and I do also have a link to my discord if you want to join that as well where we just sit and we talk about the sims and other games as well because believe it or not I do like other games too <laughs> but anyway we are moving on to the inside and as you can see we're doing the living room and this is the first time in a long time that I have not used the growing together couch. <laughs> I am using the one from high school years which I love. I absolutely love that orange swatch. Um, I just think it's so cute. So yeah this is the living room. You can see that the living room I feel like is honestly quite large. Um, I want to describe what I do with it, but I don't know like the best way to describe it. I knew that there was going to be a good amount of Sims in here, so I think the amount of Sims that this has is six, because there's of course like the toddler, the infant, the two kids, and then the two parents. So six, maybe five if you have like a single parent, or yeah, just whatever. You could. I feel like you could definitely have more Sims in this house. Um, if you change some of the rooms, like for example, I end up putting a dining room. But yeah, you could change that. But anyway, um, yeah, I knew <laughs> that there was going to be a good amount of Sims. So I wanted this room to be like big enough for all of them. And I believe it is. There's six seats, so it should be fine. And one of the one of the kids is an infant, so they probably wouldn't be really sitting down anyway. I don't think they can. From any gameplay I've done, I don't think they can just kind of like sit down on <laughs> in chairs or anything. But yeah, so. I decided to do this kind of half wall situation so it kind of shows you the the kitchen so you can see into the kitchen now there's no access from the living room to the kitchen um but obviously you can see what's going on so yeah the way you get to the kitchen is like there's another door from the hallway <laughs> but yeah you can see in there which I thought was really nice and I used these little shelves we got these were grown together not actually used them yet but I was actually going to use the like kind of brown swatch and then I realized that there's these like beautiful pastel swatches and I was like that's perfect so I did of course just have to use it I just had to but anyway um I'm gonna talk a little bit about I don't know I guess like my <laughs> my thought process and stuff and like what vibes I was going for so as I said I don't really know the style of the outside of the house but for the inside I you can probably tell but I was going for this very like dark wood tone which I did also do on the outside so I did want to carry that in because with these windows that I use from the high school years pack these are the easy exit windows by the way I used them in this kind of like dark brown so I wanted all the furniture to match because it sees through if that makes sense so yeah the house is all done with like this kind of brown wood um which is weird because normally I am more of like a lighter wood but because the outside was burnt I just wanted to carry it on and I actually really like it and there's a lot of swatches that I never use because I don't think they they really go um but because I use this color I just I got to use like different swatches and I really liked it and this little table which I think you're supposed to put it in the hallway but I I put it in the in the living room I used that in a lighter swatch so that's in a kind of white like white wood um but I just like that I thought it contrasted nicely and then also the bookshelf which brings in the lighter wood as well but this is the kitchen and I was really struggling with it because I wanted to put it on a platform so I wanted it to be either like lower or higher but um I couldn't because like of where the door was it wasn't letting me um and I don't know I just thought it looked weird to have like the door floating I just didn't like it so I ended up just keeping it the same level but I think it still works and it probably works a little bit better because obviously I do have the half wall for the living room um to the back 
to the to the kitchen so I feel like it does actually look a little bit better that way and I used this tile which is from high school years I feel like I was really just using a lot more high school years because I I was obsessed with high school years like when it first came out I used it all the time I was so obsessed with it I actually still absolutely love it like the love seat and the sofa I used in the living room um but yeah I don't use it as much because I've just been so invested in growing together so yeah I did um I did use a lot of high school years in this build and that tile is one of them which I haven't actually used before in a kitchen or bathroom I don't think but I did use it for this build and I really liked it and you can see that I went for a kind of blue vibe in the kitchen so it's kind of like navy um and then like there's gray and then there's the creams for like the countertops um it's something I really couldn't decide on with this build well with this room was the floor I really didn't know you'll see me go through like so many floors trying to pick one that I wanted um I really didn't know because I it felt weird because I wanted to put the wood in it that I had all the way through the house this is the wood that I didn't even know existed and then I used it in my last build and now I'm obsessed with it but I wanted to use that but I felt like it just didn't make sense because it's a kitchen so it should have tile um I think the one I end up going for is this like kind of marbly base game one um but the one I'm using right now I actually think is really nice as well <laughs> but I I was doing that thing where you know you kind of like look at your build for too long and then you start to hate it and you just want to change it so yeah I actually feel like the tile I had before was probably better but <laughs> yeah um and this is the kitchen and I added a microwave which I don't normally do I think I did it in my last build um but I don't normally do that because there's not normally enough room but this is a really nice sized kitchen now a weird thing about this build is obviously the kitchen is right here right next to the living room the dining room is actually on the other side <laughs> of the house which I guess is a little bit weird and I was thinking about it and I, I didn't know if I should do it because I didn't know if it made any sense um but I ended up I ended up just doing it and I felt like why not <laughs> I thought it would be good for like events maybe when you would be in the dining room so yeah that's kind of like an optional thing if you want to eat in there but yeah I decided to put the piano right underneath the stairs which I thought just worked I thought it looked so nice I I feel like I struggle to not use that piano in all of my builds now because I just love it so I use it all the time um, but yeah, we're doing the hallway right now and there's not too much in here, just like a little table with some stuff on it and then a mirror, um, obviously the piano. This is really just where you split off into other rooms. You can see that there's no room to the bathroom right now. I did end up adding one and as usual, I did not show me doing the bathrooms. I don't normally do that just because... Um, I just find them a little bit boring and I always do them the same. I feel like bathrooms is that one thing that I just really need to practice with because I'm not great at them <laughs> and I always, I don't know, I always do them the exact same and I really need to just start doing them a little bit different and like getting creative with them. <laughs> but yeah, um, right off from the dining room is this little room and I really didn't know what to do with it so I decided to make it like a laundry room but there's also a changing table in here because I thought if you have infants or toddlers it's going to be really annoying not having a place to change them downstairs so I done that and then I added some toys and yeah I just really like the rug I used in this room I've never used it I believe it's from Get Famous and I really like it but um yeah that's all this room is if you don't want to play with laundry I feel like you could change this to just be for like um, children I was going to make it a playroom but I kind of I don't know I felt like it was a little bit too small and also because the big back door is there I just I just didn't do it um but yeah we're moving on to the upstairs and this is where of course all the bedrooms are so there's uh four bedrooms and then there's a bathroom as well so the first bedroom I've done is this one and this is the infant's bedroom and I've been loving doing infant bedrooms. I think they're probably my favourite to do at the minute. I've been really liking kids bedrooms as well but yeah I just think infant bedrooms are so cute. So I have been using the exact same changing table in every single 
uh, build so I decided to use the one that's kind of on the wall I thought that was cute um I don't actually know I think it might cost more but I just thought it was nice and it's probably more practical like in real life you would probably really want that one but the only thing is there's no there's no bin so I don't know what happens with that I don't know if maybe you'd have to put a bin in here that's something that I didn't I wasn't really sure about so yeah you can let me know how that kind of works um, but yeah I really like this infant room it's so cute it's kind of like blue and green um, and I did switch out this little bear chair just because I felt like it probably made a little bit more sense to have a rocking chair in here for like the parent to sit with the child and then of course I had to put the tummy time mat because I oh I think I did put one in this build did I I feel like I put one in the living room <laughs> now I can't remember I think I did I I do think there's one in the living room but now there's two so it's okay now this is the toddler's bedroom and I'm using the little pink bed and I did say in one of my other builds I was like I think this bed looks like a hospital bed but I've decided to give it another go and I've used it and I actually really like it in this bedroom now I did think this bedroom was a little bit too pink so I do end up changing the wallpaper to like a lighter one um, it's the same one, but I just make it lighter. Um, but yeah, this bedroom is super cute. As I said, I just, I've been loving doing like kids' bedrooms. Um, I just think they're so fun. But yeah, I went for a very pink vibe in here. And I used two rugs, which I thought was sweet. I feel like it's a very kid-like thing to just have lots of rugs in your room. <laughs> I don't know. I just like that. So that is that room. And then I did decide to do a kind of, I wouldn't say it's an office because it's like right in the middle. It's like right on this landing. But I did decide to do like a desk area because there's no desks in any of the room. Like there's no, there's nowhere for you, your sim to use the computer. So I put this one upstairs on the landing and I really, really like it. I used, again, I used high school years with the like gaming chair and I just thought that's probably the best place to put it because... I did think about putting one in the kids' bedrooms, but the annoying thing is, if you only have one, like, computer, <laughs> and it's in someone's bedroom, like, all the Sims would just go into that bedroom all the time, and I just feel like that's super annoying, so I decided I'm just going to put it there, and then everyone can use it, and yeah. Also, it is upstairs, but that shouldn't be a problem, because, like, toddlers and infants can't use computers anyway so yeah this is one of my favorite rooms I really like this room this is the kids bedroom and I was thinking like a kind of brother and sister maybe share this I don't know you could you could have whatever you wanted in here but I decided to kind of go with that theme I suppose and yeah there's like a bed on each side of the room so it's kind of like I have been doing this a lot but it's kind of like a half and half split so they get like half the room each I don't know I just thought that was cute and also I wanted this room to be super cute because the big triangle window is right there where the room is so when you're outside the house you can see directly into this room. I did put up a curtain um, but you can still see into it because it's just such a big window so I wanted this to be a really nice room just so that when you see it from the outside it looks really cute um but yeah I filled this place up just with clutter and toys and lots of stuff I thought they would like um so yeah let me know what you think of it and if you like it um hopefully you stay for screenshots I always put screenshots at the end of the video but I yeah I don't know I I was really debating if I should change a lot of the way I done this room like I, I wanted to change a lot about it um but then I was taking screenshots um which will be at the end and I actually really liked how it looked <laughs> I was really really happy with it um so yeah I I decided not to change it and I just kept it the way it was and as I said I did play test this so everything's fully functional I know sometimes there's problems with um the kids clutter uh, item like getting in the way of the beds and stuff so I was really cautious about that um, so I think I end up ha having to like scoot the, the one on one of the sides, the like blue side, 
um, like underneath the bed a little bit more just so the bed is accessible because the sim I was using like couldn't get into the bed um, but yeah I did end up changing all of that before it goes on to gallery so there shouldn't be any problems but as usual let me know if there is but that is the end of this video so the screenshot should be playing um, hopefully you did enjoy it. and if you did please make sure to like and subscribe I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye!